to build in just a second, but 14 local children officially became part of new forever families today. It happened during an emotional adoption ceremony in the Wessex County's family court. Yeah, this day happens every November as part of National Adoption Awareness Month, just in time for the children to celebrate the holidays. And our Madeline Dart met some folks today whose families are finally complete. Adoption granted. Adoption granted. Adoption granted. Thank you, Your Honor. The phrase every family in this room was waiting to hear. The words binding families together forever. It's nice to finally have her have our last name. Introduce her as Alessandra Renee Kepsel. It's my favorite day of the year. Judge Timothy McCoy finalizing adoptions like the one of Alessandra Kepsel. Danielle and Earl Capsule always knew they wanted to adopt. After being married for over a year, the couple looked no further than Nueces County Court Number no. 5, where they would start the journey to becoming parents. It's been a long process, um, trying to get everything finalized. Very, very long time coming. <laughs> Alessandra made the capsules a family just days after being born in 2016. The couple says her parents were unable to take care of her, so they've made it their mission to give Alessandra the best life possible. I'm just overjoyed. I really am. She's been a part of our family since she was three days old, and it's just amazing that it's finally official. Judge McCoy says these children often come from a life of abuse and neglect, or their parents couldn't care for them. But all that matters now is the life they're entering after hearing those magic words. When I rule on an adoption, it's uh, the kind of the culmination of a very long uh, process and a lot of work by the department and the caseworkers. The capsules say they hope to adopt again in a couple of years, but for now their attention is focused on their beautiful daughter, Alessandra Renee Kepsel. Madeline Dart, 3 News. That to be uh, gratifying for a judge Absolutely. to preside over that.